Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video, I'm going to show you an ingredient that is going to totally up your ice cream game. Oh, and you can also make pudding and flan with it as well. For the last couple of weeks, I've been playing around with a handful of different thickeners, trying to see in which situations do they work best. And I think I've found the one that works best for ice cream, pudding, and flan. And that ingredient is tarragum. It is an all-natural product derived from the seeds of the Peruvian carob tree. And what it does in ice cream is it not only eliminates any sort of ice crystals, it also creates this very creamy, smooth mouthfeel that, unlike, say, xanthan gum, isn't at all slimy. But not only can it be used in ice cream, I found that it can also be used to create pudding or flan. And we're going to do all of those things right now. A couple of quick notes on my ingredients and tools. First off, I am using Keto Chow in this video. You do not need to use Keto Chow to make ice cream. It's just incredibly easy. If you've got another ice cream recipe you want to use, by all means, use that. Additionally, for making the ice cream, I will be using my Ninja Creamy back here. You do not need a Ninja Creamy, though if you'd like to see my review, I'll link to it right up here. You can use any ice cream maker you want. So with that, let's start by making our Keto Chow ice cream. I have a little more than one and a half cups of water. If you're doing metric, that'd be about 380 mil. To that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Then I'm gonna pop this into the microwave for two minutes or however long it takes to melt the butter. The cool thing is with this water, it'll keep that butter from spattering. Then I'm gonna add my melted butter and water to a blender along with one scoop or one packet of keto chow, one tablespoon of allulose, and then I'm going to pulse this three or four times just to incorporate everything. Then, with a the blender running at low, I'm going to sprinkle in one quarter teaspoon of tarragon. I do this on the edge here because I find that the vortex in the center kind of pulls all that tarragon right down onto the blade and gums it up rather than dispersing it. For the purposes of comparison, I will be making two batches, one marked with blue tape here, that's going to be with my tarragon, and then I will make another batch without tarragon. I'll pop on the lid and then let this cool to room temperature before I throw it into the freezer overnight. In terms of making pudding or a flan with the keto chow, my recipe is almost the same as the ice cream. The difference is I don't include the allulose. So again, it's a little over a cup and a half of hot water, two tablespoons of melted butter, the keto chow, and if you want pudding, it's a quarter teaspoon of tarragum. If you want it to set up more, and create flan, use one half teaspoon. Once you've blended up your pudding or flan, just put it in whatever containers you'd like. I use these larger ramekins, and I find I get two of them. Then just refrigerate overnight, and you've got pudding or a flan. On the right here, I have the pudding. You'll notice as I jiggle it, it's got a little bit of wiggle to it. And then over here on the left is the flan, which when I jiggle, not so much wiggle. I'll take a butter knife and run it around the edge here. And then I will invert it on a plate, give it a couple of shakes, and there we go. Flan. So first, we'll try the pudding. Oh yeah, I gotta do this with the banana keto chow. This is gonna be so good. It's, it's probably somewhere between custard and pudding with the one quarter teaspoon of tarragon. And now for the flan. So you can see that this is nice and firm. You know, I just cut right through it. Mm. It's so easy. It's so creamy. It's so good. All right, I have run both batches of the ice cream through the Ninja Creamy. Just so you remember, this one here is the one that has the tarragum. This only took one respin. The one without the tarragum, two respins, it could probably use a third. Now, my wife doesn't know which one is which, so I'm going to invite her in and get her blind taste test and see if she thinks one is creamier than the other. 
All right, dear, you ready for a taste test? Yeah. Okay. What are we the, tasting? It's ice cream. Okay. The flavor, I, I made it with keto chow, and it's the toffee chocolate flavor. You okay. Are, you all right with that? Yeah. Okay, that was something that just blew down. We'll leave that in there, just so you can see what it's like <laughs> behind the scenes. All right. I made two different batches. One has got a different ingredient than the other. Okay. So my hope is that you're going to be able to tell which ice cream is better, which is creamier, which okay. one you like more. Okay. All right. All right. But they're both toffee flavor. Yes, they're both toffee. Okay. Same. Everything's exactly the same okay. except for that one ingredient. Okay. So first, we're going to scoop this one. All right, I'll let you go first. Are we recording? Oh yeah. Okay. Cheers. What, am I supposed to guess what's in no, it? Well, well, just what do you think? There's nuts in it. No, no, I mean, no, it's not like, a, it's not one of those tastes. Oh. So it's just like, how did it feel in your mouth? Like ice cream. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's try the other one. Okay. Okay, you guys know which one this is. All right. Cheers. Well, they both kind of taste the same. I'm not, well, I'm not looking for taste. I'm looking for how does Texture. it feel in your mouth. Yeah, this is more, to gather that's more like icy. The other one was like icier. This is more smooth. That's what. That is correct. Oh. This is the one that has the tarragum. So you'll notice even like when you're yeah. going through it with the spoon, it's just, it's so just creamy. Sm creamier. Yeah. That's the word. Smooth, creamy. So like let's it. let's go back to the other one. Take one more bite of the. Oh, you're gonna have another bite of this. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then yeah, I'm gonna have you take another bite of the other one and see if your opinion has changed on that at all. Okay. okay? All right. So back to the first one. No. Oh. Almost feels colder. Yeah. Too. Mm-hmm. No, icy. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's got that icy sort of mm -hmm. everything to it. Icy on your teeth. Yeah. Icy on yeah, your it's tongue. Cold ice, it's yeah. colder, and yes, when you get done, you're just it's you don't have that you know nice creamy cold. You have cold. Yeah, you, this is cold. Yeah, that is cream. Uh, yeah, it's cold, but not too cold with the ice. Yeah, so yeah, works. Whatever. Yeah, whatever right. you're trying, it worked. <laughs> okay. Well, good. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Yep. Are good. you gonna take an ice cream with you, or yeah, I'll eat. You, I'll you eat want any the creamy of them. one, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter any of them. So there you go, one little ingredient, Tara gum, that transforms your ice cream from ice to cream. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, you do not need to use keto chow. I just use it because it's remarkably simple. If you're interested in getting some keto chow, I will include a link down below in the description along with a 10% off coupon code. As for the Tara gum, you can get that at Modernist Pantry. I'll include a link to that. There's also another brand on Amazon and it's less per ounce, but it's a one pound bag, which I think is gonna be way more than anyone will ever need. But I'll include the links to both. If you decide to buy from Modernist Pantry, I've got a coupon code there as well, again, down in the description. That coupon code is good not only for Terra Gum, but anything that they have in their thickeners category. So if you wanna pick up something like, say, sodium alginate, if you're doing those viral noodles, you can use the coupon on that as well. Also, I've been doing a little experimentation with sodium alginate, and it looks like that might be a pretty decent all-purpose thickener. So stay tuned for more videos on that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like button. If you're not a subscriber already, tap the subscribe button, then hit the bell to turn on all notifications. And if you'd like to help support the Serious Keto Test Kitchen and offset some of my expenses on these ingredients, click that join button and see what memberships and perks are all about. Thanks for watching.